we are now here at the entrance to Room on the Broom. We're about to be taken through by the rice creator Andrew Porter, so yeah. Hey, welcome everyone uh, to Room on the Broom, Julia Dunstan's book. Uh, really excited to um, get the words to the magic bags. It's been two years in the creation. It's been a real push for the last seven months to get everything in, take out the original Hocus Pocus or no, 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 and, uh, and, and get it done. So really, when it comes to being a show designer, what, what we have to do is, is take a story, take a narrative that Judy has written, and get you guys into the story. All the children to the front, can see this these weeks. And the grown ups So we start in our magical library. Please and our behave. magical library comes to life as he starts to read the story of Room and the Broom. And what we always like to do with projection um, is, is create this 3D, but also use 3D props like cauldrons, which have got real props the that come out of them, and real stuff. Do you want to win the show? Today, I want to tell you a story about a witch who loses her hat, her bow, and her wand, and about all the new friends she meets on her journey. Gather around So the cauldron has got five special effects in it. It's got a smoke machine, it's got a water bottle, it's got light. It's, got, it's also got another airing around it. And that airing gets rid of the smoke away from the projection. So one of the lessons I learned very early on in my career when I did a horror maze is smoke and projection did not work well. So one of the things that we do is we add this air around the inside of the cauldron. So when it goes off, it creates a great mushroom, but it also blows all this smoke yeah. away. on those doors that you've just come through or a trip. So what you see now is just a it's just a running routine. This will be tripped on that first door. So we'll use a mean of everyone coming into these rooms and count to seven seconds and then eventually go by the dot. But one of the things we've got to be we are quite concerned about, we all use lighting to do as well, is everyone remembers Hocus Pocus Hall. So this room is quite key on people just going straight through because they remember the old attraction and how it used to be. Uh, and we're trying to work out a way to manage that. Say we've got operators today to see if people try to go straight through. And then from that research, we work out ways to make this more engaging to make people stop. <laughs> Maintenance is our key thing, and it's one of the things that we've done on the Gruffalo again this year. We've gone through the whole attraction and we've resurfaced it, we've repainted it, we've brought it back up. Um, all the smoke's gone back in, all the top screens have gone back in. Um, it's really important to us that we look after our attractions and we keep guests enjoying them as much as we possibly can. Um, so uh, she's, um, she's going to have a little bit of a service tomorrow, bless her, but she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it, it's all about getting, you know interacting with you and families laughing, kind of laughing together. Okay, it may be a bit strong at the moment, I've got to turn it down on alright, but you know, we're going to today. And that's the one that got me at four this morning when he was like, yeah, come and have a go on this. And it, oh, and actually, this, this is my third cup of coffee that has not been thrown all over me from last night. So, um, we've got two animatronics in this room. We've got the frog, who is, uh, he's, he's air powered, where he's, 
where his bottom jaw opens to show the wind and we've got the little fella over there who's got again six motors in him um, and again it's really important to have those 3D items that you can relate to them much better than you can on just what screen or content but we use screens and contents obviously you've seen throughout the attraction where they're needed to actually tell narrative but when you're in something like this you can just see the wonder in the kids eyes when they kind of walk in and see the dog and the, the barking that's what themed entertainment should always be about you know the guests it takes something from just being a normal screen where we've, we've got screen, we've got 2D, we've got 3D layered on front, we've got more 3D layered on front and it's not just a screen because it's an interactive too because it does something and people don't expect it because they see a screen. Um, I know some of you know that I did quite a lot of horror stuff and it's a technique that I learned that people are not afraid of TV screens and content. So what you do is you project on them from the back of the front and then you split that screen open and someone dives out of it and it will scare someone far, far more by doing that than just having a normal screen playing content that I was really bothered about. So it's the same theory that we use in children's attractions, that every attraction has a heartbeat. It should never flatline. We've got 63-piece live orchestra that's recorded all of this, and it's entirely bespoke. We went to Budapest where we recorded it. Is it on No. No, it's pissed off productions. And they did the content for us as well. Um, and it, it, again, it's that, it's that beautiful idea of... So he's on a time at the moment. You can keep hearing it going on. We have just had two run throughs on room on the broom. The second Andrew Porter like took us through and like ex was explaining stuff as we went through. It seems like a lot of love has gone into that attraction. Like he was explaining how his background in horror mazes has strangely influenced a children's like project, but it's, it works together so well. Like he was explaining how they don't like to just use single screens; they like to incorporate like 3D props and stuff into it. And they've done that really well in there. So yeah, very, very impressive. I'm excited to see other people's reactions to it. And yeah, what else have you said? That's a very nice attraction. Very good. I liked hearing about yeah. like, the design oh, in yeah, there really as well. It was very cool.